The Ultimate Experience. That's how Canyon Guide author Rick Jameson summarised the descent of Canangra Falls and Creek. It's an epic day and serious undertaking, located about three hours west of Sydney. Most parties descend the 150 metre sheer cliff face beside the falls, known as Canangra Main. But beyond that lies Canangra Slot, a mysterious dark vertical abyss shrouded from gaze by the thunderous spray of Canangra Falls. Two boats at the top of the slot. I've cleaned as much of the rubbish off the end as I can. The first abseil into the slot is about 50 metres down to the base of a loose scree gully, still a fair way from the falls. Helmets are mandatory. Mel's just rigging the rope. So there's three boats for the second abseil. Not entirely sure where we're going to be stopping. Somewhere down there. The second abseil is also about 50 metres and places you right next to the main falls, a spectacular and ominous position with a curtain of water releasing spray that obstructs the daylight and engulfs your world. From here, the only way is down, deeper into the slot. The slippery third abseil begins on a chockstone and drops down to the base of the slot and under the veil of the falls. It's wet and it's noisy and it feels a little hostile. After rain and in high water, this section could be a problem, with 120 metres of waterfall above in the water flow constricted into the slot and flushed out over another fall. Be prepared for the typical Canangra slippery quartzite rock. The fourth abseil emerges from the slot back into the sunshine away from the jaws of the dark slot. The abseil lands in a pool where the Canangra main route joins, having descended the 150 metre cliff face above. It's an impressive sight here, tracing your passage through the slot and falls. From here on, abseil after abseil takes you down cascading precipices, sometimes in the flow and sometimes to the side. Be prepared and aware of constant rockfall danger. On a warm day with an efficient party, wetsuits probably aren't required because the swims are short with plenty of sun exposure to warm up. The 8th, 9th and 10th abseils over three steps can be combined into one long abseil with a 65 metre rub, but requires a well positioned anchor for the pull down. We down climbed the 10th abseil off the large ledge Easy in the dry conditions, but it would be lethal when wet. The 11th abseil is the most special of the trip. It's about 45 metres straight down the middle of the wide vertical cascading waterfall. It's a spectacular scene for photos and videos, with the canyoner just a dot, lost in a curtain of water. It's quite an experience to descend inside the waterfall, dropping like a parachute into the awaiting cauldron beneath. You then swim out to safety, away from the towering, weeping cliffs. There's one more abseil and a pool for playing, then a stroll downstream to exit up the steep ridge between Kalang Falls and Murdering Gully, which leads you up to the Canangra Walls lookout. Canangra Main and the Slot are serious undertakings, but for an experienced group with good leadership and judgement, it's a fun and adventurous day. It's definitely an objective for new canyoners to aspire towards.